Hello, this is Jake from the Corona team and in this short how-to we're going to talk about scatter, pattern and displacement. Specifically, we're going to take a look at how to decide which feature to use for the task in front of you. So let's take a look at creating a grass field using each feature. We have our ground object and a small patch of grass from Chaos Cosmos. And scatter is very easy to set up, we can select it under the scatter toolbar and create a scatter object. Over in the modifier tab, we can select our ground as our distribute on and select the grass path as our object to instance. And then we can run an interactive render and straight away out of the box we can see we get some pretty nice results. And we can continue to manipulate our grass with all the powerful tools within Scatter. So let's change the count to 200 for every meter and see how this looks. And notice how quick this was to set up. The setup time is something we want to keep in mind when deciding on which feature to use. The results are very realistic and the render takes 43 seconds at 15 passes on the 5950X. Next up we can use pattern to cover a surface with 3D geometry so it may seem like an ideal candidate for grass. But to get something that resembles the grass created from scatter we need to spend some time tweaking the settings. So we need to make the crop box 20 by 20 centimeters, so we don't get any of these dead areas in the corner of our patch of grass. Then we can make the UV real world and the same as the crop box. And now we can see the grass is looking very repeated. So then we can use the UVW randomization to add some randomization to the offset and rotation. Whilst pattern takes less time to pass, the setup time takes longer than scatter and it renders in 45 seconds. It's harder to produce the desired results. It relies on having a good UVW map and the crop box adds some limitations. And even with the UVW randomization, it still feels a little bit more repeated than scatter. Finally for this grass section, the displacement can't really compete with scatter or pattern and even though it renders pretty quick, the results barely look like grass. So in conclusion, if you want to create grass, scatter is your best bet and whilst it's not as fast as pattern, it gives us the most visually appealing results with the most customization and the least setup. Next let's take a look at fabric on a cloth surface and this is really the kind of thing that pattern is built for. By applying a Corona pattern modifier and adding a piece of pattern, we can see it creates great looking results. The geometry deforms nicely to the base object, tiling can easily be increased or decreased, and it renders quickly with minimal setup required. And the only drawback is the results are only visible at render time. Another way we could apply geometry to the fabric is with Chaos Scatter, by using the fabric as the distribute on and the pattern piece as the instance model. And when we run an interactive render, we can see we have some work to do in the scatter setup. So let's turn the max limit up, turn on avoid collisions. So let's change the surface scattering to UVW map so it's on grid. Rotation Z to zero, preserve model rotation. And let's also change the scale to 50 and 50 and run a render. And even after all of this setup, the results of scatter are not near pattern. The instance objects have a hard time navigating corners as it doesn't deform to the objects it's scattered on. Also notice that the scattered geometry is having a hard time tiling. So with scatter, the setup is longer and it takes longer to pass and it does not produce the desired results. Displacement produces better looking results than scatter if you have a good displacement map to accompany your material. You can also use an opacity map here as well to simulate the holes in the weave, something the pattern takes care of automatically. The displacement map is plugged into the displacement slot of the Corona material and has a max level of 1cm. It renders quicker than scatter. The setup is very simple if you have a good displacement map and it is only visible at render time. So if you're creating detailed fabrics, pattern produces the best results and requires minimal setup. So that brings us on to a good use for displacement. Brick wall is a great example of where displacement excels compared to scatter and pattern. Because we want to make sure the bricks are not uniform, something which pattern would produce, and to achieve something like this with scatter is not even worth attempting, as we want randomization, but not to the extent that scatter provides us with. The setup is easy, as long as you have a good displacement map. Notice that on the corners it's added depth to the bricks grout, and this would require a lot of setup to achieve in both scatter and pattern and displacement renders in a reasonable time. 
so when it comes to brick material, displacement is the clear winner. So scatter is best suited to scattering things such as rocks, trees and vegetation. Pattern is great for covering or replacing a surface with repeated 3D geometry and displacement creates geometry that deforms the surface using a texture visible at render time. And if you want to learn more about pattern then check out this video.